This is a super quick video on managing your uh, settings and contact info in New Panda. When you log in by default, you land on your dashboard. To access and manage your settings, you're simply going to go to the upper right hand corner beneath your name and click on settings. The settings will open and uh, most of you will see uh, several different tabs that are available to you. If you're with one of our corporate partners that manages some of this uh, information for you, you may not see every single tab here, okay? I'll go through each tab with you briefly. There is a longer video, by the way, on uh, managing, your setting, uh, managing your settings that you can certainly take advantage of. Okay, so display information uh, is information that flows to your uh, email templates, and it's information about you and your company. Now, if you are working with a team or a company um, and you want uh, your display name to appear as something other than your first and last name, you may certainly enter a team name. You could put your corporate, uh, your corporate name here if you wanted to. All right, your organization uh, is the company obviously that you work for. Some of our uh, corporate edition partners may notice that this uh, this field is does not appear or is not editable. That means your uh, your company is managing that for you. First and last name also flow to your templates. Uh, it also helps us identify you should you uh, call or email and need assistance with anything. Uh, your designations, whatever you have after your name. Uh, if you're a realtor, if you're a doctor, et cetera, et cetera. Your slogan flows to some but not all of your templates. And the rule of thumb here is uh, that you want to keep it brief enough so that it all fits in this square. If the if your slogan is so long that it doesn't fit in this square, it is not going to look good on, uh, on some of those templates, and it may even be truncated. The team account checkbox here is obsolete. You don't need to worry with it anymore. Uh, so whether it's checked or not, it really won't affect anything. All right, make sure that you hit save, by the way, on each and every tab. Otherwise, some of your information might not get saved. Next tab is contact info. Relatively self-explanatory. I will go over just a couple of things with you. For your email address, if you use Gmail, AOL, Yahoo, uh, Hotmail, any free email account, uh, some of uh, some big ones, Yahoo and AOL, have already instituted this, and others are going to follow shortly. And what they have done now is they do not allow users any longer of uh, Gmail or Yahoo, for uh, for example, to use third-party services like New Panda or any other third-party service to send emails to uh, other Gmail or AOL or Yahoo recipients. So what I'm saying is if you have your Gmail address here and you're sending an email and you're sending it to Gmail recipients, when that message hits Gmail's inbound servers, they say, oh, look, this message came from Bob at gmail.com and it's going to Sarah at gmail.com. They can look up and see the server that the message came from. And when they see that the server is newpanda.com and not gmail.com, they no longer allow that. They will simply not deliver your message. And there is absolutely, at this time, nothing that uh, we can do to get around that. So the workaround is to not use a free, mail e free email account service here in your contact info. All right, you're going to want to use a corporate um, a corporate email address or you want to purchase a domain uh, I love houses.com or I'm the best realtor.com or or whatever you want and set up uh, an email service through that domain and a lot of them are free and then you can just forward it to your Gmail account if you want to but that is the way to get around it okay this also by the way is the email address uh, that's the from email address in all your outbound messages it's the email address if somebody receives a message from you and hits reply that's the email address their reply is going to go to. And finally, it is the email address to which we send all of your system, new Panda alerts, and how we get a hold of you uh, if we need to. Okay, so make sure that's an email ad address that you're using uh, and that you check because um, you definitely want your recipients to be able to get a hold of you if they need to. Okay, a physical or an address is required. It's federal can spam requirement. Okay, so we, we need you to, to put your address in there. Uh, if you are one of our real estate partners, 
working in a state that requires an actual physical brick and mortar address, then uh, make sure that you are obeying all of the rules for your local um, MLS or, or uh, realtor service. Uh, post office box, we don't care if you use one, but again, if you're working with a company and an organization in an, or an industry that requires a brick and mortar address, make sure that you follow any rules that you may have as far as that goes. All right, images is pretty uh, self-explanatory um, to, to change or add a new primary image, which is typically a headshot. It could be, you know, the team photo, the three of you or the five of you or whatever. You could put a picture of your dog. Some people do, or you could put a company logo, whatever you want. Just simply click choose file uh, and then browse for whatever picture that you would like to use. and say upload image and there's your image the same and, and so to replace a photo you just choose a new one okay so for your corporate logo uh, same deal if you want to delete your brand image and you don't want one at all just hit this delete button and it'll take it away uh, otherwise um, just you know choose file to upload a brand new one or to replace one again we're going to get uh, hit save on this tab your account information is basically just your username and password and you will notice that we don't display your password. Lots of our users work in um, public offices where people have access to <clears throat> the same computer or they're sitting in close quarters. We don't want to display that password information. So <clears throat> to update it, uh, you simply type in your new password and you're going to save. Okay, this little new button here <clears throat> is for our mobile uh, features users and it's an API key that helps us track your text uh, and mobile messages. If you're not one of our mobile users and you have hit the new button uh, by accident, don't worry, it won't, uh, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't do anything bad. <clears throat> it's just a tracking number for us. Now, uh, again, for mobile users, if you are <clears throat> if you're requesting text alerts uh, on your uh, message activity, Enter your cellular phone number here, choose your carrier, and select your time zone, and then hit save. Social networks tab, I'm going to explain this very briefly for you because <clears throat> both of these sections are covered um, in, uh, at length in separate videos. If you want social network icons, these little buttons right here, to appear on your outbound email messages, they're clickable little links. So you send a message to Bill Smith and <clears throat> it's got a little Facebook button here and he says, oh, well, I want to see your Facebook page. When he clicks on that little button, it'll take you to him to the Facebook page okay so to get those uh, to appear on your messages all you need to do is enter a valid <coughs> URL right into any one of these fields if you don't put a URL then that particular icon will not appear okay this is a blog this is for if you have a blog okay so you put your blog URL there Facebook, you could use a Facebook personal profile or a Facebook fan page, either one. Uh, it's your choice. Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube, or Pinterest. Okay, so that's the top section. And again, uh, we have a, a video that shows you how to find those URLs if you don't know them, okay? Your sending social networks are for uh, those users that take advantage of our social posting features. All right, and so uh, this would be the place where you add your social network links for the social autopilot or for your social posting features. Okay. And finally, you've got your billing tab and the billing tab just shows you if you have um, credit card information on file with us, it'll display uh, the last four digits and the expiration date. And then you just click add or update credit cards to, to add or update your payment information. Deleting your payment information, by the way, does not stop your services. Uh, so um, just so you know, uh, because users do need to change uh, credit card information, unfortunately now with um, hackers and things more often than we would like. So just be aware that removing your billing information doesn't cancel your features or um, or your responsibility for paying for those active features. All right, so then we see a list of our features here. Uh, here's um, each feature that you have. 
some brief information about the feature, how much per month you pay for that feature, when the uh, service was started, and when it expires. All right, and you'll notice for most of your expiration dates, it's 12 12 .99. That is not the year 1999, that is the year 29.99. And uh, the reason uh, that the date is like that is just so that we can ensure that as long as your payments are processed in a timely fashion, that your services won't expire or accidentally get cut off, okay? So uh, canceling a feature is pretty easy. Uh, you simply log into New Panda, go to your settings, go to your billing tab, find the feature or features that you no longer want, and click cancel. You will be prompted by our system, are you sure you want to cancel this feature? And you simply say okay. The page refreshes. And that feature that you didn't want any longer is gone. That is the one and only way to cancel your features, by the way, uh, just because uh, if a technical issue occurred that caused us not to receive your voicemail or your email or the singing gorilla that you sent, uh, we can't be responsible for not receiving requests to cancel. So per our terms of use, if you need to cancel, just log into New Panda, go to billing, hit cancel, boom, you're done. All right, and that's a super quick look at your settings setup.